Hey, beer tubers, Ryan here, back another episode of San Diego Beer Vlog. Thanks for joining me. We're going to be looking at a beer that's finally back in bottles. And that is Double Dorado from Ballast Point. This is their double IPA. Uh, they've done some draft only versions, you know, in the meantime, since the last time they bottled this. But uh, Double, or just Dorado, Double IPA, however you want to say it, um, just came out at the end of. Uh, June and there's actually an enjoy by date right here that's a year out which is a bit weird but this is a big 10% double IPA and I think they automatically do their big beers like this you know a year out but don't drink don't wait that long for this beer drink it fresh so let's get this one poured my understanding is the original recipe for this beer called for all crystal hops so I, I'm not sure if this version has all crystal hops in it or not and, uh, you know, some of the past draft versions I wasn't a big fan, so hopefully uh, for this balling they uh, got the recipe dialed in more. So it pours out a very hazy orange, just a little bit of a, uh, most looks like it's a pretty bright white head on there. Certainly seeing some alcohol legs on the glass. A uh, decent amount of carbonation just swirled up a nice head on there. Mostly small bubbles. Let's get the aroma on it. Yeah, it smells great. Uh, first thing you get is citrus. Floral citrus notes, big time on this beer. Uh, some bitter grapefruit, sweet grapefruit. Uh, floral, touch of like an earthiness. Uh, touch of uh, malt, but man, it smells mostly like hops, so uh, it smells good. Let's dig in. Cheers. Oh yeah, that's good. Much better than last time I had it on draft. It was really boozy when I had it on draft. This is for 10% beer, you know, for drinking it on the cooler side. I've had it sitting out in the fridge maybe uh, 10 minutes, 15 minutes now. So I wanted to warm up a little bit, but man, that's an easy drink of 10% beer so far. There's not a ton of bitterness up front, but you do get that bitterness. There's a ton of hot flavor though. I think they really dry hop the hell out of this beer. Ton of late edition hops. It, it finishes on the dry side. You know, you have the hops combining with that 10% alcohol, which you can't really taste, but you can feel it a little bit. You know, that kind of really dries out the beer in the back end. The, uh, you know, based on the color, they're probably not using a ton of like crystal malt to kind of really sweeten it up. So it has a good malt base that's not overly sweet or syrupy. You know, it's just a really nice medium mouthfeel. So if they are using crystal hops for this one, I've, I've heard they're, uh, they're, I've never used them, but I think they're a little lower acid, alpha acid. And so generally speaking, when you have lower alpha acids, it leaves a little like smoother bitterness on the palate. And, and that's what I'm getting. It doesn't have that intense high alpha acid bitterness that you get out of like Magnum and Chinook and uh, Simcoe and all those hop varieties like nuggets kind of up there I'm forgetting some other ones but it, this one has a rounder softer bitterness to the palate which is, is really nice I think it helps the drinkability and then flavors wise I mean you're getting that kind of more bitter grapefruit peel kind of just like a big like a citrus peel kind of bitterness up front but it's very rounded then a ton of flavor hops you get a lot more of uh, sweet citrus. Uh, doesn't go too orangey, but you kind of get borderlines into that kind of character. Uh, floral note definitely uh, picks up from the, the nose, carries over into the taste. All that's kind of going on mid palate. And the end finishes with a little bit more kind of bitterness. Touch of like a, an earthy spiciness is in there as well. So it's, it's a really well done beer. So drink more, I do start to kind of feel that alcohol pick up a little more. The, the malt is mostly just, a, you know, kind of your typical more like American two row kind of breadiness. Just kind of really supports the hops. The, uh, the hop character is really nice. It's not as complex as I'd like. I, I, I remember having it before, I think it had a little more of a tropical fruit character to it. There's a little bit in here. You kind of get a little bit of uh, like maybe like a pineapple mango thing, but it's kind of buried underneath the, the floral citrus notes of the hop. 
and a little touch of earthiness and spice. So it's, it, I mean, it has some nice characteristics to it. Um, it's just like a simple, like easy drinking double IPA. So it's a, it's a really well done beer. I'm gonna go uh, B plus with this one. I think it's definitely above average double IPA. I'm not the most complex ones out there. And at 10%, yeah, you, you can't can't go wrong with drinkability for that. It's just uh, this beer's a little on the expensive side. I expect to pay around eight or nine dollars for a bomber. So, but it's another well. Nice uh, addition. Glad to see it back in bottles from Ballast Point. I think they got this recipe uh, pretty dialed in right now. So until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.